What if you killed hundreds, thousands of people and separated loved ones from one another permanently in order to achieve your own goal? That is what the Order of Asir did, the mysterious underground organization of Arcane Odyssey that controls the entire Bronze Sea. Their mission? To obtain sea curses, a type of magic in the Arcane Universe so powerful it could destroy kingdoms, countries, lives. But for the Order of Seer, they wish to use sea curses to reawaken some ultimate power that was long ago sealed away. And with that, today we're going to be talking about the Order of the Seer, duh, and its major involvement within the storyline of Arcane Odyssey. And hey, if any of you lore enthusiasts spot something I missed, feel free to inform me. At the moment, the history of the Order of the Seer before the events of the game aren't known all that much, only saying that the Order of the Seer was an organization dedicated to furthering the power of magic, no matter the cost, and said that they died 200 years ago, roughly. The name of Seer itself derived itself from Norse mythology, which is sort of weird since the game is more based on Greek mythology, and the name Aesir is, to keep it short, we're basically a type of race of gods. Okay, no more history lesson, back to video game lore. But right before the events of the game, the player, along with Morden and Tucker, were experimented on by the Order before the events of Arcane Odyssey, since the Order was trying to find out more about this ultimate power and experiment on people who they thought had that power. And it turns out, the player you has it because you're the protagonist. Going on with the story, you, Morden, and Tucker escape from the clutches of the Order and arrive at Dawn Island, where Arcane Odyssey picks up from, where the player awakens to have their memory completely wiped, with only you and Morden surviving the escape, while Tucker unfortunately did not make it. Fast forward the story where the player gets red wake, solves their problems and whatever, and sails to Frostmill. That's where the player encounters Iris, who is intentionally attempting to melt away Frostmill with her flare magic since Frostmill was associated with another kingdom called Ravenna, which Iris holds a common grudge against, since the background of this grudge is that Iris previously resided within the confines of Ravenna with her father, until one day her father, along with another group of civilians, were arrested by soldiers, which was revealed that the Order of his Aesir was behind that mass arrest of Ravenna civilians, who were brought in for questioning and inevitably executed, due to own the suspicion for being Winterville refugees. For some context, Winterville was the rival kingdom of Ravenna, whose first king, Nero Caesar, ended the war between the two nations by using his own curse power, which Winterville has completely underestimated and absolutely obliterated Winterville. Since then, the Ravenna royal family has been attempting to cover up the dark past by arresting anyone and anything who has knowledge of Winterville's destruction or is a Winterville refugee themselves, which is likely why Iris' father was arrested. He was likely one of those surviving Winterville refugees, but why the Order would even have interest in arresting and killing the remains of Winterville survivors kind of beats me since their ultimate goal is to obtain sea curses to awaken an ultimate power. Going back to the storyline, Iris journeyed away from Ravenna in order to find out who was behind her father's arrest ultimately, and you the player joined her at Sears Island where Iris is said to have seen cloaked figures dragging a bleeding man away. After investing Investigating, the player would find out the motive of the Order of Aesir by Lord Elias, an agent of the Order after defeating him in the battle, along with the knowledge that the man they dragged away was Beringer, a user of a sea curse, and the sword he was stabbed with was called the Devourer, which had the ability to take away a sea curse from its user, but primarily the Order of Aesir captured Beringer in order to learn the location of a sea curse that was much more powerful, but Elias answers no more and you probably killed it. Fast forward more, you and I were split up to find out where the other Aesir members went in an attempt to rescue Bringer before he can confess the location of the other Seekers. And the player heads to Sailor Lodge, meeting up with Morden, who spotted the same Aesir members sailing into Fort Tells, Ravenna's separate iron fortress. The two devised a plan to get into Fort Tells, where Bringer was ultimately held, but it was too late. Bringer had already given up the information on the powerful Seekers, the Death Curse 
and its location in the Dark Sea, and is practically clinging on to whatever strength he has left before he perishes since his sea curse was removed by the Devourer Sword. But Morden, after being given the location by Beringer, instantly leaves Fort Tellus in an attempt to get to the Death Curse first before the Order of the Seer can get it, and leaves the player behind and to get caught by General Argos, one of the Barons of the Order. After defeating Argos in a bloody battle, lots of crap happens, the player escapes Fort Tellus, and mostly unrelated to the Order, so let me speed through a lot of this crap. The player learns that the Order has deeper roots within Ravenna, so they travel to Ravenna, where lots of things happen, news of what happens at Fort Tellus comes to Ravenna, and the player is now a wanted criminal there. The player then travels to the Shining Plains in order to lay low and wait for Morden to come back from his trip to steal the Death Curse in the Dark Sea, until they are ambushed by Lady Karina, an officer of the Order and sister of Lord Elias. More fighting happens, you defeat Karina, and then she gives away that if the player wants to discover one of the High Lords of the Order, they should travel to the Ravenna Castello, but midway on their journey to traveling on Mount Caesar, the player was attacked by General Julian, the user of the Glass Curse, and likely a member of the Order of Aesir, but not revealed for some reason. Then the player was thrown to the Eternal Mines, dialogue with other prisoners happened, stuff on the Dark Pass of Ravenna, and then Iris and the gang breaks us out of prison months later. And then finally, with the gang, he stormed the Ravenna Castello and finds King Calvis as one of the five High Lords to the Order of Aesir, which the player fights and defeats single-handedly after roughly 100 tries, and then reveals some major points on the Order's main goals revolving around some great power that has been sealed away, and also mentions that the player's blood was special in some way, and that the Order needs people like them in order to achieve their goal. Going back, this is basically why the player was specifically experimented on by the Order and got the memory wiped. The Order probably found out that the player had this sort of ultimate power that they were looking for, but before they could take advantage or experiment more with it, Tucker and Morden were able to escape with the player before the Order could do any more. And with that marks the end of what we know at least at the moment about the Order of HG's involvement with an Archaeonautics so far, but it will likely impact a major part of the Nimbus Sea story when it gets released. Maybe sooner than we know it, maybe never. But hey, now you know a bit more about the Order of Aesir and its major involvement within the storyline of Arcane Odyssey. And if you do enjoy videos where I talk about the lore and story of Roblox games in particular, consider liking this video and subscribing. And with that, stay caffeinated and I'll see you later.